it's going to be a different game. You cannot go into the, into the next patch with the same mindset that you did with this patch. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to look at like a completely different, like this is like a brand new game that you just heard about. Uh, and this is going to be the brand new meta you're going to have, you're going to have to learn. Okay. You, you can no longer play super tanky heroes, wherever you want. Uh, the CC meta may or may or may not work. You're gonna, you guys are gonna have to make your own rotations, have to make your own builds. It's gonna be game changing, and I hope and uh, and I hope you guys enjoy it. I know okay, that I did. Let me go through the bug fixes and performance imp improvements real quick because there are two in there that I thought, oh why? Okay, so Grump Draw now spits his target out upon channeling teleport boot. So now Grump Draw cannot eat you and teleport to base <laughs> or teleport to anywhere else. What? I loved that. Why did they change it? Well, it was it was pretty tough. It was, but it was fun, and it was not really that easy to pull off. That's true, but like, I guess they just didn't like it. It was a bug. So about the teleport boots. So now when you teleport, before when you got stunned, um, it wasn't cancelled. You could still port where yeah, you it wouldn't wanted to do. You, you would just continue teleporting. It, right. it would give you CC immunity. It was super dumb. Like, you just go anywhere. It was so, like the perfect escape. Your tail. If you get stunned by Catherine, you're not going to port anywhere. Uh, why mm -hmm. did they change this? Just because it was super annoying? Oh, yeah. I mean, like, it doesn't make sense that it would give you CC immunity. There's, like, one ability in the game that gives you CC immunity, and that's a Lorelei ult. I don't know why. <laughs> Teleport boots have so much power. Uh, so they were like, okay, yeah, no, no this is dumb. It should be affected by stuns, same as anything else's. Uh, are you looking right. at the patch notes? I'm looking at the patch I notes. I am. Okay, so... I don't know, where so do you want to start? Through. There's just so much. Uh, jungle healing was now, it's now going to be cancelled when you take damage. You also heal less from the treants. So, uh, this is a massive change, especially in 3v3, but also in 5v5. Generally, what would happen is that you would take a, the, the, the center tree in, in 3v3, or take the lane tree in, in 5v5, and then you would go trade with the enemy laner, and they would be unable to trade with you back, because you would heal all the damage. Now, when you try to do that, and you take damage, it cancels the healing, and you heal a lot less. So, it's uh, I think it's a lot more fair, and it, makes, it, makes, it means that when you make mistakes in lane, you're going to suffer consequences. Uh, lane minions now give you 30% ambient, and the durability is changed to health. That means that all damage that you deal to minions is true damage. So now uh, you won't have like ultra tanky minions. I mean, you still will, but you will see big damage numbers instead. Uh, one thing that I wanted to talk to you about was the, the lane minion. Mm -hmm. They added an mm -hmm. extra one, right? And they yes, also the added, one. yeah, they also added um, ambient gold. If you miss a minion, so if the minion was yeah. killed by another minion or something, you get a bit of extra gold. You still get gold. I didn't like that because I feel like laners should be punished for being bad at last hitting. They will. They will. Someone did the math. If you miss a third of your minions by ten minutes, you're you're, you're going to be behind like two thousand gold from the enemy laner. Hero stats. Max cooldown was again moved down. Max cooldown is now 35%. It's a pretty big change, especially for uh, your ranged carries and like mages. So Scarf, Celeste. Uh, these heroes are light on cooldown, and now there's less cooldown to go around. So you have to use your abilities better. Armor was overall buffed for every hero. So was shield, but shield was buffed nowhere near as much as armor. Like, if, uh, if I'm like a super tanky hero and level 12, I have 100 base armor. That's, that's pretty crazy kill him. So jungle is not going to be easier to take. And there's a reason for that. They made jungle harder to, to take last patch because they, they did not want laners to take jungle. Mm -hmm. But they've been they've now been changes this patch and the laner will almost never leave it, almost never leave his lane to take jungle. So the jungler actually can take his jungle now. The healing trains now also give you a barrier for 12 seconds. And that's because they want you to be aggressive in the laning phase. So they want you, they want you to use that barrier to make some plays. 5v5 meta, this is massive by the way. This is a very boring change, but it's huge. Trickle gold was reduced from 5 per second to 3 per second. What that means, that instead of you getting 300, 300 gold per minute, you're now getting like 180. Mm -hmm. In a normal rank game, which lasts 25 minutes, um, in the old 
in the old turtle system, I would be getting 7,000 gold, more or less. Okay. Which is crazy, right? But with right. the new system, I'm, I'm getting like 4,800. That's like a tier 3 item that I'm not getting anymore. So all the gold has been moved, have, has been moved from trickle to in like the lanes. So if you don't farm in the lane, you are falling way behind in gold. So if you leave lane, you're losing a bunch of gold per second. Uh, lane minions. So now if you lose an armory, your lane minions will only do half extra damage than like double damage. It used to be that they used to do double damage, but now they do half damage. And so it's a, it's a good, good buff. It means that if you lose your armory, you won't have to like go back to take the minion waves over and over again. It's a good change. Go down to like the gold changes. Uh -huh. You see that minions are worth a lot more gold now. Four minions, like a captain minion, a siege, a ranged melee, it's gonna be worth what? Like 240 gold? That's crazy. If so you if you get miss all of them, wave, it's 240. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So if you if you keep missing like waves of uh, your lane, you're gonna fall like thousands of gold behind the enemy laner. And that's not okay, because that means that you're gonna lose lane. And in this patch, losing me losing lane is very bad because then they can pressure you. Vainglory now has a laning phase, so now they can pressure you away from lane, they can use minion waves to control lane, and you will lose the game, because you cannot fight with them anymore. Wait, hold uh, on a second, can you explain to me the leash? Monsters try to stay okay. in the jungle, uh, what does that mean? So, uh, do you remember how, like, when somebody, someone tried to take the blue buff, they could, like, take it all the way to, like, the back, near, near the double camps? Like the bear oh, camps? yeah. You can no longer do that. They actually stay in their like small spot. Really? Try to, try to, yeah. Mm -hmm. Buffs. No, this is this is a pretty big uh, change. The weapon bu the weapon buff is no longer overpowered. Uh, the slow duration was it's a quarter of what it used to be, and the damage jump has been scaled. So, if you give if the enemy bot laner has a weapon buff, it's no longer like a guarantee win. You know, oh, like previously. Okay buff was so powerful that it would just mean that if you're the top laner you had to go tanky because if you went squishy you would lose uh, this time with the new changes you can win you can actually win when he wins so when the jungler takes his jungle obviously he's, he's gonna get low and he wants to in the it used to be that he would take the treant to heal up mm -hmm. but they've that they've lowered lowered the healing on treant they've given the rest of the healing on the other camps so i only heal for like 300 on treant but I can heal for the rest of my health bar on the gold tree and the orb guardians, which also gives me healing. Now, hero nerfs, I'm really happy about these. Anka is going to receive some major nerfs next patch uh, with the cooldown changes, uh, so like less cooldown cap, but she also has a much longer cooldown on her A and her B, uh, along with lower damage ratios and lower base damage. This is massive for her because this means that maybe, just maybe, she won't one shot you. This is a good change, in my opinion. Arden was gutted. Uh, his barrier duration was halved, and his ultimate now has two lex two lower seconds yeah. uh, on max rank. I feel like so. I need to say rest in pieces, um, Arden. I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore all the energy cost because that that's like for something else that you'll see lower on in the item changes. Okay. The energy costs of a lot of heroes were changed around a little bit. So previously, if a Catherine used her A. She would have a speed boost for 1.5 seconds, but she could still stun you 0.5 seconds after it like ended. Mm -hmm. So it, it would look like she would like run towards you and stop running, but still stun you. Yeah. Uh, that is that is no longer a thing. No. So yeah, it's a pretty major nerf. So unless she overdrives her A, she's only gonna have the stun power while she's super fast, which makes sense to me. This actually gives Catherine Catherine people uh, a reason to overdrive A. And actually, yeah. I would think that people, yeah. So overdriving A and her B is now over her ult because her her ult was pretty, it was gutted. Uh, it now has 20 seconds of more cooldown, and at every rank, so it's massive cooldown. The damage was nerfed pretty heavily, and the sounds duration was nerfed pretty heavily too, by half a second. So this is actually a massive, massive buff. Jules' perk was reworked, where now she has like her grump jaw. Okay, her perk is the same as grump jaws pretty much. So uh, she takes like a lot less damage at all stages of the game. Early game, it's massive. In fact, I think that this change could make Joel a dominant laner. 
because of how powerful it is. Um, Kashka, Blood Rush, uh, so that's how fast she can go. So mm -hmm. she can go fast for a lower time now. Uh, her her A does a lot less damage, but her B uh, does a lot, lot less base damage, like the activation, mm -hmm. but her auto attacks do a lot more damage. So that, that kind of makes up for it. But one major change I wanted you to look at is the empowerment dar the empowerment duration. That's so what cost big from it's ten huge. seconds to four seconds. Wow. Mm -hmm. And what here's what that means. So cost commands what they used to do is that before they would fight, they would use their B, that'd mm -hmm. give them two stacks. Then they would jump in, uh, use their use their two autos, and then B again for two more autos. So they do like four autos worth of, worth of damage. Mm -hmm. Right? So they've actually they've removed that, but they've given her a lot more base damage. On her autos. Okay. Cruel got some nerfs. His A cooldown was increased massively. I mean, it's two seconds, so early game he's going to be like way less of a threat. His barrier was reduced. Uh, sorry, no, his barrier was increased, but his barrier duration was reduced. So that means that he can't just like sit in sit in the middle of a fight with some cooldown and like absorb everything anymore in 3v3. And in 5v5, it's going to be less annoying early game. His B, uh, now. So previously, Cruel's thing was like, if he would hit you, you would do like half the damage at max stacks that you would normally do. And that was massive, because that, mean, that meant that if he attacked the damage dealer, that they would become useless. Now they've reduced that, so now at max stacks, it only reduces 25% damage uh, okay. from the enemy laner. But in return for his damage reduction, they've also given him 30% uh, more life steal at max rank on his B. Uh, his his alt cooldown was increased, but it's it's gonna be the same cooldown at maxed out. So that that actually gives cruel people to like a reason to max his, his ultimate, which is so that they have a longer stun, and that they have a shorter cooldown. Rhyme now gets fortified health from all damage. And that includes weapon power damage. So yeah. weapon power rhyme back in the meta. No, he's never been in the meta. But weapon power rhyme could actually be playable now. Any damage that rhyme deals will give him fortified health. Aftershock now costs more. It gives you a little bit less CP, but it, it does 10% max health. But its cooldown is only one second. So on like a hero like Maylene, or hell, even Celeste, you can do you, you can do 100% of someone's max health damage in 10 seconds. It's a massive buff, in my opinion. This is a pretty big buff to its damage. Don't so, say that. Do, do we want to see Aftershock Celeste? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, to be fair, Aftershock Celeste, I mean, who knows? Maybe it's like a fourth item if you're getting dive on all the time. I mean, any hero that has like a one second cooldown can actually abuse Aftershock, in my opinion. Because it's a lot of damage. Okay. And it gives you healing too. So heroes that, someone said that it would be, it'll still be good on Ozo. But other heroes that their core item is Aftershock, like Reza, Koshka, is this still going to be good? It will, but it depends on how they have like time their abilities. So before you would just like you would have that one big proc, right? You still have the you still have that big proc, but you can actually do more damage now. So instead of being Koshka, instead of like using my A immediately after I use my B, mm -hmm. if I wait one more second, I can get like ten percent of their health as damage. So it rewards better timing. Heroes that that work good with aftershock will remain good good with aftershock. Do not worry. Aegis nerfed to the ground. I mean, not really. It, it's changed. Um, so it costs a little bit less. It gives you a little bit less health. But it gives you more armor and way less shield. It is no longer the shield defensive item, to be honest. Uh, and the cooldown for its, leap, for its, for its like, block was increased to 45 seconds. So Okay, so um, what they're doing is they're just making... It's got a little bit of defense, but you just buy this mainly for the block. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the main point of Aegis now is that if you want more weapon power and so if you want both weapon power and CP defense, but you also need a block to escape CC. So it's a good item in my opinion, but it's no longer the best CP defense item. Okay. Atlas Pauldron, it gives you less armor, it gives you no shield. So what they've done is that items that give you shield only give you shield. They don't give you both shield and and armor, which is like which is a good change. It means that you have to like Decide what defensive path you want to go, you know? Yeah. You can't go full jacket and get both CP and weapon power defense. So Alice only gives you uh, only gives you 60 hour, sixty armor, and the cooldown on its uh, active, which is like the slowing down effect for auto attacks, was increased to 45 seconds. Yeah, so it's so pretty big. 
yeah what they've done is they've just repositioned this to make it more of an item you buy for the attack speed slow so if you're going up against yeah. the boxes and the ringos you're definitely going to want to uh, pick this up bob needle is now like the lifesteal item you know like you buy it for lifesteal uh you don't buy it for damage so because life steal is universal, so if I'm playing like a, if I'm playing a CP hero and I need life steal, I can actually build a barb needle and I will get 10% life steal on all my CP damage, on all damage actually. So it's actually a good investment. Bone saw got buffed massively actually. I can finally see being bone saw used like normally. Uh, its weapon power is increased to 40. Its pierce was increased to, to 20%. But the real powerful uh, thing was its passive. Which it now shreds the enemy's uh, uh, armor for three seconds, ten percent per stack, and it's four stacks. So at max stacks, you have sixty sixty percent armor pierce. It's it's pretty powerful. In my opinion, breaking point is now the worst item in the game. Uh, it costs more, it gives you less weapon power, but worst of all is this passive. It got hit really hard. Breaking point now has thirty five stacks. But each stack requires you to do 100 weapon power damage, plus like a little bit, depending on how many stacks you have already. I did the math. Essentially to stack, if I'm like a melee hero and I want to stack breaking point to max, I need, I need to do like 4,000 damage. What? If I'm a ranged hero and I want to stack breaking point to max, I have to do like 5,500 damage. What? So breaking point is now a terrible item. Because it, it only gives you 50 weapon power and it costs so much. Why would you get it? Okay, here's here's where we get into like the energy recharge. The main thing that they wanted to do next patch was make it so that if you spam some spam abilities without thinking about what you're doing, you're gonna feel bad about it. You're gonna like run out of energy. And you're, you're gonna be silenced essentially. So, uh, you can no longer buy a clockwork and have infinite energy. And that's not a thing you can do anymore. So. Your, your abilities cost more late game, and then all the items give you way less energy recharge. Help. Wow. Nerfed a little bit now is way less gold efficient. So if, that means that you go back to the Idris change. Yeah. If you get six crystal bits, you can no longer get his perk. The six crystal bits gives you 90% CP, and you need at least 100 to get the Idris perk. Yeah. Idris buys Frostburn now, it gives you only 85 CP. So you have to buy Frostburn and a crystal bit. Just yeah. three, three bits can go. So, don't worry, this patch won't make CP Idris insanely, insanely broken, hopefully. I heard that Fountain is like the best CP uh, shield in the game. It's the best shield in the game, so now anyone can buy it? What, not Fountain? I mean, yeah. I guess, but you still have you stuff Slumbering Husk, which is also pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Slumbering Husk uh, is more expensive gives you less armor but it now gives you 90 shield which makes it the most powerful shield item in the game if you need a block you yeah. you're still gonna need to build your aegis and your also the the husk active was nerfed heavily um so you, you can like no longer just build husk and never buy a defense item ever again okay. um, it now has a very cool and unique passive uh which reduces damage from basic attacks by 10 percent which is pretty massive actually pretty good uh buff metal to metal jacket so now when you have a enemy weapon power carry, he does like, he's bot crit like a Baron. Mm -hmm. Metal Jacket is going to help immensely. Oh. Who now can should should or can build the Pulse Weave? Pulse Weave is going to be a late game item on tank heroes and support heroes. It can no longer be used as a first item, which is, I'm, I'm pretty happy with. Uh, it does a lot less damage up front and it has no slow pretty much up front so okay. it's been nerfed a little also costs more scaling. Nice. Okay. Uh, reflex block now gives you less health and it's uh barrier was changed instead of it being missing health now it's the flat amount um so now it can be, you can like use it you can use it like a flask almost you know okay. if you're like at middle like half health and in the middle of a fight you can pop reflex block for 400 health barrier is pretty strong um tension bow uh is now a late game item it's incredibly powerful on certain heroes it gives you it pretty much it doubles your damage every six seconds for one auto attack it's really good uh it's pierce is also not it's like a lot higher now to 35 percent 
in, the, in its current state, Tension Bow should never be your first item. Because if you buy Tension Bow first item, it deals, okay, it says your next basic, your next basic attack will deal 50 damage plus 125% of your bonus weapon power damage. Okay. So if you buy it, if you buy it as your first item, it's gonna deal it's gonna deal a hundred damage. It's gonna deal a hundred bonus damage every six seconds, which is worse than the current tension bow. You wanna buy a tension bow as like a second or third item after you buy a saw blade or a bone saw. Okay. So you can do you can like hit them really hard every once in a while. Okay. War mail is a new item. It's not that strong, but it's built into a lot of other items. So war mail only gives you thirty armor, thirty shield, and cost nine hundred gold. So it's like a weaker stormring husk. Yeah. But with like no pass. Okay. This patch is really more to set up like later patches, and they will be doing hot fixes and tuning when the patch goes live. So okay. just like, so do not worry. These 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 are by far like not the final changes, right? So do expect to see tuning and changes as the as the patch goes on.